Yo, 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 here is Jay from France representing Legitim Obstruction. Welcome to the Stepix footwork program. So today we're going to see some basic footwork and we're going to try to improve to the special footwork that I have. So let's do it together. Peace. Yo, so for this first lesson, we're gonna try to work on the, all the position that you make it the perfect footwork. And for that, we're gonna also work on kick out, CCs, uh, in your face footwork, or Russian step. We're gonna work on your bounce and let's do it together. First, we're gonna start to work on this position. I will call it the zero position. For that, make sure to have uh, the straight, uh, your back straight and open your chest like this. You must uh, try to um, make this position good in every direction, like try to put, you see, uh, your hand behind, uh, side, front, and also you have to think about this position, about your, your toes, like on your tiptoes, and to sit like this. So, should be comfortable with this position. And also now, we're gonna try to just open one leg like this. So, I stretch out my, my leg like this. Then I change. And I can work on the bounce. So, basically, I will try to push on my right hand, on my left leg, and change So this is the zero position that you have to feel comfortable. So from the zero position and also from the starting position, make sure to feel comfortable on your legs, but also on your hand. And me, I use three different positions with my hand. It can be the flat one, flat hand on the floor, but this one is good when you have to, to push like super hard on the floor and feel comfortable and try, you know, to take care about your finger. So this one is okay, but not good for the basic position in footwear because you're gonna be maybe a little bit down. And always you have to try to be like up, you know, open. So the best position for me is this one. You have to make sure that your finger are flexible. You can work on it like all day, every day, try to do like kind of stretch with your finger. So this one is the perfect position. So it's basically the position when I start my footwork, you have to be like this and don't forget about your knee and to have the bounce. This bounce is really important also. So in, this zero, in zero position, it's gonna be like this, you see? So I try to be like straight. I can go a little bit on my right or a little bit on my left, but not that much, okay? And the last one, but I use this one like, it's not often like this position, totally on your finger, but make sure that your finger are strong. If not, you have chance to have kind of injury, so take care about this one. I use this one, but so not, not always like, it's super hard. So, <clears throat> If you feel comfortable with these three positions, you can start to improve your footwork. Yes, so when you feel comfortable with the zero position and the starting position, try to, we can also try to work on the basic Russian step. That it's super important for you to have the balance and the bounce. So we're gonna start like this. I'm gonna just open one leg, try to find the balance. Then I will make this change. Okay, again, without my hand, as you see, because I have to find the balance. You see, I can put a little bit up my legs and the same like this. So it's kind of balance that you have to find. When you are super comfortable, you can start to jump. So work on your bounce, basically. So from this one, I change, I change. Okay, so this is the basic Russian step but it's super important to work on it, to feel comfortable for all the footwork that we're gonna see together. So this is the basic one. Then you can try to open more the legs, like on side to side, like this. 
You can also try to cross the legs. You can also try to make it like this, then to go up a little bit. So this is the Russian, there is a lot. I invite you to, to watch some video about Costo from top nine. This guy is super strong with Russian step and there is a lot of variation that for me is difficult because I have kind of injury, but anyway. So Russian step is basically something that you can work to for have a good bounce and um, good legs, I mean strong legs. When you feel comfortable with Russian, you can also try to work on one move that it's really important in breaking, it's hook. The hook is basically this position, so you just cross your legs. You can do it with one head on the floor or without or with both. So from the zero position, I cross my leg. It's the hook, the basic one. We can extend the hook. So for that, as you see, I put my leg a little bit further. You can jump on the hook like this. And you can play with the level. So it can be down, up, down, go back, down, up, down. I can jump from this position, up, okay. Extend, extend up. So also I can create hook with kind of a knee drop, like this. See, so from this hook, I go a little bit up, like a knee drop, and now I'm on this position, the same. So hook to hook, as you see, like this. It's good to combine hook with hole, so it can be hook and kick out. As we see later, the kick out from the hook. Yes, let's practice this and we, we see some different hook later. If you feel comfortable on this position, you have also to know that the other position that we can start, I will call it the starting position. So from here, you have to also think about the bounce. As you see, I just try to make my, my leg like super uh, flexible, I want to say, like this, okay? So from this position to this position, think also about your back. Should be like this, okay? Not like this, not on this position, okay? So this is the starting position and zero position. So, from the zero position now, we're gonna work on kick out. Kick out is one of the basic moves that we can start in breaking. Super easy. Basically, I'm just gonna kick my legs over there. So, for the first one, I will put my right hand on the floor and I'm gonna kick on this way with both legs, like this, and go back to the zero position. I can do the same in the opposite way, like this, and go back to the zero position. So, again, I can also do it straight from the front, like this, and I can change it and try to make some variation about the kick out. I will show you some. So, I can open my leg like this. I can also do some variation about uh, this position. I can cross my leg in the four positions. So four position is like a four. It's this, okay? I just cross my legs like this. And I'll try to do it with the kick out, like this. Kick out. 
you see? So I just try to put my legs over there. And also I can do like back kick out. So basically it's the same. Just I'm gonna kick behind like this. And go back to the zero position like this. Go back. So I can mix all. So this is the kick out. There is a lot. You can try to improve this move and you can try to find your own variation. So there is also this kind of variation that you can do. It, I call it the air kick out. So I'm gonna kick but in the air and then go back to the zero position. So like this. As you see, I kick in the hair and go back to the zero. This is one dynamic kick out. There is also one that you can do it. You can do it's the side to side. So I'm gonna kick out on my side here on my left, then on my right. When I kick on my left, I open the right leg and now the left. So you can combine all the kick out and try to practice them and to find your own variation. Still with the kick out, we have this variation, we call it CCs for Crazy Commando. It's a crew from New York from back in the days. So the CCs is also a kick out, basically. So for this one, I'm gonna try to just kick one leg in the hair and the other one I'm gonna put on the floor and I just do it like on side. So I can try, I can start like this. So with my, uh, le with my leg uh, stretched out and then as you see, I kick on my side. So this is the basic CCs. I will show you again. I, I have to push on my leg, I have to push on my arm here, and then this position again. Change. So I have to combine both direction and try to make it a little bit faster. So here, but also we can do it like from side to side. So instead of doing this, stay in this position and then change, I can do like this from zero, this, Like this is a little bit faster and maybe a little bit better, more dynamic. So there is also a, li there is also a lot sorry, of variation in CCs. You can, for example, try to change the CCs and to make like a invert CCs, I will call it like this. So for this one, instead of doing this, I will try to put this leg, so my right, on my left. And then the opposite one, gonna go like in this way, you see? So, it's still a CCs, but the form is different. Like this, go back to the zero position, go back to the zero position. It's a CC's variation. Another one that I can show you now. I'm gonna just grab my feet with my hand. So it's the same, but the form is a little bit like bigger and I'm gonna open a little bit more. So like this, as you see, I just grab my feet and I change like this. I can also do it like this. So if you are comfortable with thread, that is not my case, you can 
try to make it like a spread inside your CCs and it's gonna be a good variation. So if you are like easy and comfortable with the basic CC, we can try to make it like more dynamic. So for this one, I'm gonna use my two hands and I'm gonna try to jump a little bit more. So it's kind of strong CCs. So I will start the same position, but I'm, instead of put one, just one hand, I'm gonna put both and try to make the jump a little bit higher. So from this position, like this, go back. This one is a little bit stronger. And if you are able to do it like this also, we can extend the CCs. Try to make it maybe a little bit down and extend the position. So, in this position, I will try to, you know, do it like this. So my head gonna be really close to the floor, like that, okay? So, let's do it together. This. So, about the CCs, as I told you before, there is a lot of variation and there is a lot of concepts. So you can extend the footwork, the CCs, you can change the form and add some uh, position. And I will show you one more that this one is kind of um, spider footwork. Spider footwork is that concept that uh, Mr. Wiggles creates back in the day and he's super strong on it. Me, I'm not so comfortable, but I will explain just one easy. So, with the CCs, I'm gonna try to put my right end in the middle and do the CCs on the same time, so like this. Then I change, and the opposite. Then I change. And from this position, if you are flexible, you can, you know, create a space to make a thread inside. So it can be a good combination of footwork like from this, this, and then go back to a normal footwork, CCs, kick out, whatever. So when you are, uh, when you feel comfortable with all of this footwork like CCs, kick out, Russian, it can be like uh, this concept of footwork that we call it the in your face footwork. So in your face footwork is basically the footwork that you do in face of your opponent. So you stay in this position and you do your footwork. There is a lot, I will show you more later, but I will try to combine all the footwork that I show you. So kick out, from kick out to CCs and variation, kick out, side, Four. Let's do it together, try it and make it better. I will show you some uh, basic variation, basic footwork. I will, I call, we call it the shuffle. Shuffle is super easy. You just have to cross your legs. So, but for this one, instead of start in this zero position, I will start in this starting position that I showed you before. So, in this position, basically, I will cross. Go back to the to the starting position. Cross. Try to go faster. I will show you from this side. So, 
As you see, I do it with a little jump, but we can also do it and just slide, you know. So for that, you have to feel comfortable on your shoulder. You have to push a little bit more on your chest and your shoulder to make your legs a little bit um, light. So, the same, but instead of trying to jump, I gonna try to slide, you know? So, like this, again. This is the basic shuffle from the side, is like this. So make sure to push a little bit more on your shoulder to make your legs a little bit, as I told you, light. There is a lot of variation. You can try to travel a little bit. So instead of staying like this, you can try to do some circle. So basically I will try to take more space with the same move. As you see, I just move my hand and I choose the direction where I want to go. So it can be on my left, it can be on my right too. I can do it from the up to down. So I can just try to change the level about this move also. So I can start in this zero position and slowly, slowly, you see, I start to go super down. I can use this position that we call in breaking the, the, the kind of baby freeze position, but there is a lot of word for that. In France, we say tracks. I know that people say turtle freeze, pilot freeze. So there is a lot of name about this. It can be also the turtle yes position. So from this, I can go, I can change from my left, to my right and go up. So there is a lot of variation and when you feel comfortable you can also add some slide with this move. So I will show you one that I like. It's just shuffle, slide, shuffle, slide. So I, it's okay because we're gonna take some space. It's good to do it. Let's see together. So this one, and I will try to slide. For that, I will open my legs. For I start with my right one, and then I will slide on this way, put my left knee on the floor, try to slide a little bit down and go back to this position. I will show you again. So I do my shuffle, slide, then go back to this position and do again the move and back to the beginning. So this, slide back to the position. So it's slide to shuffle. This one is a good variation. When you feel nice and good with the uh, shuffle, you can try one. That's, it's kind of the same actually. The baby love, baby love is move from back in the days. Baby love actually is the name of one member, the woman from Rocksteady Crew. And there is different name about this move. I know that people call it also the 12 step. So it depends, but let's say baby love. So for this one, what is nice with, with what is good and nice with baby love is this kind of variation that you can take space. So basically it's the same. I have to cross my legs, but I have also to think about my hand. Me, what I do is something like easy. I fix, I look at one point, like I create a point in my head in the middle between my hand and I try to turn around these points. So, we can start like this 
in this position and I'll try to fix something like in the middle. Then I'll cross my leg. My first leg for me is my right one. Then I go back to the starting position. Then I use the same leg, but this time I put it like this. So behind the other one. So it's gonna be like here, go back to the zero, then on this position. And as you see, I try to play with my hip. So instead of staying like this, you have to play with your hip. So in this position, yes, for this baby love, I'm gonna just put my right uh, leg here, then I open to the zero position, then I put my leg still my right, but behind, then go back to the zero position and feel comfortable with your hips, you have to play with that. So, this, this is the baby love. And you can also change the level, try to go like a little bit down, little bit up. This is the baby love and kind of variation. You can also take more space and you can also uh, stay on the same point and then go back to the, the circle. This is baby love.